Hey everyone, um, I'm gonna get started. Sorry, I'm a little late. Uh, so this, I don't have any slides or formal presentation for this, but I wanted to give everyone who is already contributing in Graphase, interested in contributing to Graphase, um, or just interested in Graphase in general, uh, a chance to be in the same room, because we always meet remotely and um, have a discussion um, and um, ask any questions that you might have. So um, I can, we can open it up with q and I can, I can give an overview of the things that are going on with Graphias right now. Um, we are working on the beta surface of the API. So in our open source project, you can see that we've created a beta surface. Um, there are still some missing features from the open source project around auth and ACLs. Uh, we've talked about this before, but those are still things that need to be built out. Um, and then we're, we recently started talking about having a QA type of metadata, which is underspecified right now because I don't know exactly what we're trying to, we need to collaborate better on what we're trying to solve with QA metadata type. Um, so, and with that, I will open it up for questions or comments and discussion. Anything, yes. Sure. Yeah. I went to the talk. Thank you. Um, what I mean, we, we initially discussed about it was that um, we wanted to use Graphaeus to store a bunch of metadata about all the things in our pipeline, basically, not just the uh, vulnerabilities and scanning and things like that, but also uh, test runs and when they pass and, and, and whatnot, and basically produce a huge amount, a bunch of metadata around the whole pipeline. But it sounds as though that overlaps with some of the things in, in Toto. So um, if I understood it correctly, at least. So uh, that's yeah, my kind of use case, I guess. OK. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And then with an in Toto integration, we could, um, I guess, specify the tests that are expected to run and pass. Same reason well. OK, thank you for that. That helps a lot. Um, is there is there anything else anyone had in mind generally to discuss? Maybe I can add something. Oh sure. Um, something something that I didn't cover in the talk earlier is uh, a concept we call inspections. Those are tests that are executed upon verification. So you have your steps of the supply chain that um, do things like. Um, yeah, tag the code, build the code, uh, run QA, and then you can define any sorts of inspections where you would um, inspect the metadata from the steps. For instance, if you have a testing step and the link metadata piece for it, you can um, inspect the return values of that test in your inspection. Is that um, something that you have? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we also have the the, the the specification online, and it's also it's not so long and uh, very readable. Hey. Okay. There's a question over here. Yeah, I saw I missed the talk this morning. I'm traveling, so sorry for asking. No problem. Was covered already. I'm I'm interested in two things really. One is the process for divining the schemas, how they get extended, um, or the kinds. And, and also, uh, as an engineer, um, I'm interested in pipelines as well. Uh, I'm interested in using something like Graphs to say things like, OK, the tests passed. There was 90% coverage, whatever it is that we care about. But then, as a, as a cog in an enormous bureaucratic machine, I, I, a highly regulated one, I should add, uh, it would be useful to be able to also collect evidence. For for example, someone may require evidence that the code was reviewed or the actual detail of the test reports, not just the fact that they passed. I don't know if that relates to attaching a bunch of metadata or not. Yeah. Um, because you know, right right now, some parts of my organisation have a process where they raise a ticket and then they attach a 15-page Microsoft document to that to say yes, we followed our test plan. I okay. Would, I would like that to go away. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> um, so the 
the general approach we've been taking to extending the schema, which um, may not scale, is to uh, just as a community draw consensus on what, what fields should be. So there are a few open issues. I think one around the way that we're um, referencing storage is very specific to Google because this project came out of Google. So we have an open issue to fix that. Um, but the like adding new fields, we um, generally just start with a proposal and then we talk through what the what's actually needed, which is sort of where the QA thing is right now. Like there's an open proposal with a bunch of questions in it and people are welcome to put ideas there. I did mention if it gets too messy, I'm gonna move everything to a Google Doc so we can sort of collaborate more easily than going through a GitHub issue. Um, so starting a proposal is fine. I think we may wanna um, start to think about extensions to the Graphics API so that not every not everything quite fits in the same um, in the same schema. So, you know, while you might need test details and code reviews, other other places might have strict policies that code that's unreviewed can't can't even be committed. So um, so that's not like a, maybe not a universal need, but maybe it is more universal. So if you start with a GitHub issue, then we can start to, to talk about it. And then these things also um, get discussed at our, sometimes get discussed at our uh, developer calls every two weeks. Yeah. yeah so my question is, uh... Hey, so my question is about like, what is the end goal of the project? Like, I would like to say like, uh, a graphics like it's as an admission control plugin in Kubernetes, like I want a way to say like, I don't want like images that like have specific vulnerabilities or specific like test failed. I don't want it in production. I don't want them in this, this namespace, that namespace. Like I want this component. And like when I'm looking at the project, I don't see this component currently. Like, so what are the plans to integrate it inside Kubernetes? Like, as an, I don't know, a native artifact? Yeah, so we have the, um, the attestations, which are the, um, fields that are meant to be called by the admission controller. So the attestation, we use that because we don't want to put a lot of logic in the admission controller. So it should be just quick, does this thing exist or not? Um, so the, the language to define uh, what, what attestations are required is something that we need as well as you know a more generic admission controller. I think longer term, those are things that we definitely want to build. Um, No, 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 I, th I think is as either part of this project or like in a related repository. Do you want to talk any more about that, Wilfried? Um, um, so I, I'm also from Google. Um, so I, we are working on something to use the attestations in uh, the admission controller to do exactly that. Uh, we are in the stage of defining what expressivity we really need. So we're currently in an alpha. So if you're interested in in uh, doing that, like in GKE, or in, in GKE, yes. Uh, talk to me later, so we can we can get that set up. Um, so we're we're trying to figure out what the requirements really are uh, to make sure, like we don't try to boil the ocean while like creating something useful. And then the the longer term plan is to open source that when we yep. come up when we actually understand what we're doing. <laughs> Yeah. Is there any way to integrate with Notary and Graphics? Integrate with, I'm sorry. Notary and Graphics. We we needed to send the Docker image, and the uh, same time I, I need, we need to provide the trim. Uh, so I think we, do you have any thoughts on this, Justin? Sure, uh, you want to answer me, please? I'm not sure, I didn't get the last part of the question. Yeah, so, sorry, so the question is that he has, okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, so the question is, is that you have Docker images that you're doing with Notary and you want to integrate it into something like Graphius. I don't know specifically about Graphius integration, but you can integrate into Intoto, and Intoto is hopefully going to be integrated into Graphius. So as a result of that, then maybe transitively when that happens, that'll all work together. Um, but today, the Intoto and, and Notary or Intoto and Tough part already works. So um, it depends on what your, 
what you get out of this, depending on whether that meets your needs or not. Jonathan or Felix, do you want to talk a little bit about what you're doing? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> Uh, hey, John Paul Sawyer from Shopify. Um, we're part of the alpha that uh, Wilfred was was talking about, the emission controllers and stuff. And we're just trying to really define our policies of of what it takes. What what can we store in Grafeus, and what can we make policies uh, for, and how can we admit our control uh, admit our images into uh, into our clusters? So um, I'm I'm having all these all these funny thoughts. Uh, you mentioned like Notary, right, and how it fit into Grafeus. And like my initial thought would be like, hey, can we just store the Notary server? Uh, alongside the image metadata to be like, hey, this is where this image is. This is the notary server that you need to go talk to to validate that this image is a thing. Um, Felix is, uh, and, and I, I guess, I think he has more words on it than I do, are, are really talking about, um, we're on the security team for what it's worth. Uh, so how can we uh, store in Grafeus things like uh, capability drops, uh, maybe something that falls outside the scope of a pod security policy, right? So we can check in Grafeus to see like which which capabilities do we need to drop on this container before it's run? And then, you know, sort of mutating, mutating admission, maybe we could do it in such a way that we could drop capabilities on the fly or something like this, right? Does the container run as root? These are sort of policies that we would create um, leveraging the metadata in Grafeus. Um, how can we further store them in Grafeus? These are just sort of concepts that we're exploring today and sort of trying to think about this problem. But the, the last, uh, I don't know, maybe half a year or so, I was really talking about um, policies and vulnerability management and uh, really how it all fits. Maybe a little bit more. So basically what we want to do is we want to like answer the question like um, if you have a container where does it run? Who built it? Um, does it run as root? Has it any vulnerabilities? Um, was it deployed with a workload manifest that is sane? Um, when was it last run? Has it become vulnerable within the last, like since it has been deployed, then to like then pull it out of um, uh, GKE and replace it? Um, yeah, those are questions we've been thinking about, and it's like I have answers to all those questions which concern Docker images. What I'm really unsure about is the, because Docker images are immutable, so like creating attestations for them is easy. Just like during build time, you create the attestation and the attestation stays there. You need to update the attestations when it comes to vulnerabilities because they can pop up after the image was built and the vulnerability check was done, but like, my biggest question mark for now is like how do you do how do we do workload manifests? Yeah, I, I guess like an overarching concept for us is like is like Grafeus and these attestations is more like the entrance criteria for an image and like sort of what what pieces of the puzzle are required to admit an image into our clusters, but what does exit criteria look like and what does that when what does that mean? Uh, this is something that we've been sort of thinking about for the last little while as well. Makes sense. More than happy to chat if anyone has any questions. Um, the stuff you're talking about, about uh, capabilities and things like that, um, would be something we'd be interested in too. We, uh, as part of exploring this, I saw we, my, a colleague of mine builds a tool that scans your pods, um, YAMLs, and gives you a score about like security-related stuff, like uh, how you've configured it, which which is um, which is cool, but it's like. Um, Ultimately, this kind of thing belongs in uh, in an admission controller type function, but dri driven driven out of information on Graphius and tied all into the same APIs and stuff like that would be would be awesome. Yeah. And and for the exit criteria, as long as you keep track of the image that the containers are created, you can always recheck the images when your vulnerabilities are discovered, and then you will know that you have a vulnerable container. The interesting question is, what are you doing with it? Should you decommission and stop the service? Or should you continue? Probably you should rate the vulnerabilities basic on the severity of it and then make a decision. But that's a lot of fun, but it's on one. You already commissioned, commissioned the service. What do you do next? But that, I don't think, can be answered through technology.
you know, but discovering is easy. Once you have, you have tracked the, of the images and you link them back to the containers, you actually know what's going on. Any other comments, questions, proposals? Yeah. Um, I have a, if, a couple of uh, topics that might be of interest to discuss. Uh, one being uh, search. Uh, so there have been some uh, contributions there. Uh, see where, what the state is for that. And then I was thinking about um, uh, Claire integration. I've had a couple of people come up and, and talk to me about Claire integration here uh, for vulnerabilities. Uh, we've discussed that before, but I was just thinking that could be interesting. And uh, uh, then if, uh, I don't know if anyone else has this, but uh, a, a new type of uh, uh, artifact, which is export control. So it's uh, a little bit similar to license, uh, I guess, but uh, uh, for some, uh, in some situations, uh, the use of cryptographic uh, functions may uh, 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 may be important for export control. Yeah. Um, so there are laws um, uh, in U.S. laws that says that you cannot export uh, specific uh, cryptographic. Uh, functions into specific countries, or if you do, you have to report it, and so on. Uh, so that's quite important for yeah, some situation. Similar to, what? similar to license, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. so I can talk um, about the search contributions, because that's all just waiting for me to do it. Um, <laughs> the um, So we have the um, filter parser um, already in place, and we just actually need to start passing filters to it, and then map those to SQL. Um, so all the code, I think the, the hard part of this was written by um, someone on the uh, Open Policy Agent team, where they're using Cell to parse the, um, parse the filters, and then they, they have some stuff that will help us do the mapping from this is the filter string passed into this is what it looks like in SQL. So that's just, um, I meant to get to that this week, and then I did not. So it's, it's coming. Uh, but I, I guess that also means uh, we have to normalize the. Yeah. yeah. So and that's where some of the. Um, this is where I stalled out because I was starting to think about like what we can we can do this slowly, right? You can say like okay, you can only filter on this thing mm. until we fix the database, yeah. but it's going to require some schema yeah. changes probably in the database. But we, that, we can discuss that. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll definitely reach out once I actually start aggressively working on this again. Hopefully that'll happen in the next couple of weeks. Um, Claire integration. Um, have you, has more happened with the Claire integration? I know you have the fork of Claire. So the, the Claire integration right now, it exports CVs uh, into to Graphians, and so that's fine. But as we had the discussion, it's, uh, it's harder to, so these, these are notes in, in Graphians language. It's harder with the occurrences because the, uh, uh, it's like who is the project owner who is allowed to do this? Uh, it would be easy enough to write a simple script that just uh, uh, lists vulnerabilities and uh, uh, writes them to Graphias, but a more general solution that would work uh, in uh, when you have multiple users that would require some some more some more work. So. I yeah, for the multi-tenant case, that definitely requires us to get the. Um, all and ACLs in place too. Yeah. Like. So we had a discussion with Coros before Christmas on uh, adding a pub sub layer to to uh, Claire, and I've uh, uh, I've uh, commented on the issue a couple of times and seen if with some more details I've been thinking about this, but I haven't gotten really a response from them. So okay. Uh, so I don't have much to say about this. It's more like. Uh, Areas of interest if anybody else is interested in discussing or, or so about this. I don't know if you want to talk about that. I'm interested in who's 
working on graph face, how many people at Google, that kind of thing, um, you know, the, the longer term goals for it. Uh, you said there's a bi-weekly dev call. Yep. You know, I'd just like to know more about how it's been developed and that kind of thing. So um, my team at Google has um, eight people um, and they're sort of part-time. Everyone's sort of part-time on Graphy is part-time on some other stuff. Um, Tobias has been a huge contributor uh, from the beginning. Um, and we have a few other external developers who are contributing things. Um, so right now, the, the actual um, contributor community is um, somewhat small. And so that we can have bi-weekly dev calls that usually last 10, 15 minutes um, just to sync up and see what's on people's mind. Um, if, if we get, if the community grows, we're going to need to definitely scale things a bit more and, and um, figure out how to work as a larger community. But that's generally how things are going. Um, so my team at Google has been working on defining the beta proto and they're, we're going to be working on um, implementing the beta version of the API. Um, but there are, there are a few places where there's definitely room for contributions around, like if people have opinions, how we should do auth, which will probably be OAuth, um, then that's exciting and great. Uh, and you know we're happy to take those contributions. Um, but the general process for anything is um, create an issue and then um, if it's something small and quick to fix, just fix it. Or if it's like a, a very tiny fix, just send a PR. Um, and then for larger larger proposals and issues, create a, an issue tag proposal and just write your proposal on it. And so that's generally how we've operated. I think it's worked fairly well um, up to this point, but um, it is possible that you know if, if there's a ton of interest in the community groups, we'll have to revisit those. Things. Google Groups, the main? Yeah, it's, it's Google chat Groups, okay. yeah. Um, I think we can follow up on the Claire stuff. I think we should follow up on the Claire stuff. And maybe someone from Claire is here, but I'm not sure. Um, and then as far as export control, is there anyone else who has faces this yet? Yeah, so we do export control in We have some expertise with export control in bin trade because we just have means to implement it, and um, it's not at the moment. It's not graphics related there, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty simple set of metadata. It's basically the geo restrictions where you are not allowed to export, and uh, I guess that will be like a new type. Yeah, I think so. And that, but that's pretty much it. It's it's like specifying um, geographical restrictions. Okay. Great. That's this is it. Once you have this information, you attach it to an currency. This one shouldn't go to Sudan or something, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, and also I guess. I guess also the the metadata about which are the like what was the cost of this, which are the cryptographic functions that were that were was found. I guess yeah. should be in there as well. No, but that's like what is not allowed to be right? That's the artifact stuff. So I think the yeah. difference here is like uh, if you have a container, I, I think what you're saying is that you want to know exactly what in the container is causing the export problem, oh, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then yeah. the, the yeah. Exactly. yeah, the GAO is like uh, a conclusion from the. Yeah. But if the loss changes, then you have to have the, the raw data to know how it came. Ah, yeah, okay. Like, see, like, see. Yeah, like yeah. The, the low why you, you, you limit it. So yeah, exactly. you can monitor that if it changes, yeah. then you, yeah. Like the embargo angle. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, we can follow up um, on this. I think it would be fairly easy to add, especially if you already have a schema for defining it. We can um, make sure that that supports what we need. And then uh, it would be, Easy, maybe to build into the JFrog yeah, graphics. Sounds, sounds yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty okay. I mean, enforcing it is another 
Sure, but having the data is yeah. uh, is useful, so that'll be good. Um, any anything else on people's minds? This is more of a. Is this off now? Um, this is more of a, a question than something. Um, Yeah. Um, it's more of a question. Yeah, that's better. Um, the w when sort of starting to play with Graphius locally rather than with the uh, the the internal um, um, hosted one. Um, it wasn't it hasn't been clear to me from looking at the docs and things like that how to get um, like uh, the vulnerabilities in, in uh, information into there. So I'm guessing this is what the Claire integration is driven by a, a way to play with it. Without, you know, like a twist lock license or something like that, um, is is that uh, is that what that's for? Is that is that is that documented somewhere? Or am I just dense? <laughs> Where do we have there? Tobias can answer his question. He he did the Claire integration. No, I mean it's 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 a fork yeah. uh, of uh, Claire. So I mean it's not official in Claire. It's not official and Graphius shouldn't be worried about this. I mean, Graphius only stores the data. Uh, so this is, a, I would say this is either a Claire thing or another component completely. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, but I did it as, as uh, integrated into Claire as, um, because otherwise you would have to add more APIs to Claire because Claire doesn't expose all the CVs. Um, and also, I think uh, it, it makes sense to add it as a plugin, but I think uh, probably we need a more complete complete solution before this gets accepted into Claire. But the, the CoreOS guys seem to be interested, and in, and at some point they were also thinking about uh, contributing some some work to this as well. But uh, it seems to be a lot of ha things happening at CoreOS right now. So yeah, we don't have anyone from CoreOS in here, do we? No, um, yeah, I, I don't know. We haven't. I haven't talked with them since uh, since December. Yeah, exactly. So well, I think, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, but if but, we have someone from 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 Claire here, we should really yeah, we should them, find them. But we them have down. had. We've also had contributions from Red Hat um, as well. Like Vincent Batts yeah. was active early on. So um, I think Red Hat is also interested in Graphics, or at least some people at Red Hat are interested in it. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think there's going to be any sort of pushback on the Red Hat side for Claire integrating with Graphius. Mm -hmm. We just need to follow up on that. I think it probably just got lost in the shuffle of year-end stuff. And yeah, but I think it would be great for Graphius if this was this was like a, not a killer feature, but it's at least something that get people started. Uh, yeah, because, I agree with uh, you. Because it's, it's like a, yeah, if you use Graphius, you are using the the CVs probably. Yeah, exactly. So, Yep. Um, I'll when we get back to New York, I'll I'll try to follow up on that and maybe schedule another meeting if they if they would like to talk again. Yeah. <laughs> um, any other? You can also just kind of push toy vulnerabilities in if you're just messing around too, which you know isn't ideal. But yeah. Um, but the fork is quite easy to use. So so there's a, like a uh, I've added to the to the configuration. Uh, the Graphius URL, URL, and you just start Claire, and uh, like when it starts up, it it it, it just says. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to send a link out to the fork again, um, to our list? Do you want to send a link to the fork out to our mailing list? Yeah, as sure. Well? Thank you. To the like the the Google group or. Uh, the yeah the Google group like the yeah. dev group maybe yep. and then um, it will be easy for everyone to find yeah all right anything else I think we have five minutes left Is that... oh we have two minutes left any <laughs> anything for the last two minutes okay thank you all for coming it's good to hear your ideas and see your smiling faces in person. <laughs>